Somebody asked about the catch playhead thing for displaying the contents of MIDI regions in the piano edit. Uh, they were watching an old Logic 9 tutorial I did and they couldn't figure out how to do it in Logic Pro X. Okay, so here is a little arrangement and there is a MIDI track. And on it there are four regions, each region is four bars long. And I've coloured them each a different colour. Okay, so I select this track and open the piano edit. Okay, when I select the track all the regions get automatically highlighted like that. By default that's what happens, right? Okay, so you've got this link icon there and the catch playhead icon. You, those both want to be on. And then if we look in the view menu, I can choose that the MIDI editor here displays either one track or selected regions. Okay, so I've got it set to one track. Now with it set to one track, it, none of the regions on the track have to be highlighted. I just click on the background all the regions on the track are de-highlighted now, but the editor is going to show me the contents of everything on that track. Right? So, there are the four, I'll zoom out in the piano edit. There's the four regions in the piano edit. But I want to zoom in so that the piano edit shows me one region nicely. So I zoom in like that. Okay, until I get the zoom nice for one region okay there it is the first region four bars long is displaying nicely across the width of the editor like that okay now one track is selected which means i don't need to select any region the piano edit will just show me the contents of the selected track i've set the zoom so that the piano edit shows me one region nicely across its width. And now when I hit play, the editor automatically updates to show me the region that the playhead crosses. So whoop, it jumps and now we're looking at the second region. The playhead crosses that region, gets to the end of the region here, and whoop, it, it jumps and shows me the third region, the red one. Then when the playhead's finished going across that, it reaches the fourth region, boom, and the fourth region jumps and shows in the editor. And then when it gets to the end of the cycle range, it cycles back round and whoop, we see the green first region again. Right, so it's updating the piano edit in jumps based on the zoom I've set. Right? If instead I tick scroll in play, scroll in play, then the background scrolls instead to keep the playhead positioned in the middle. As soon as the player gets to the middle of the editor, the background starts scrolling instead. Okay, so I'll de-tick, scroll in play. And now it does the jumping again. I've set the zoom so that one region nicely fits the editor. And now it plays across that region. When the player gets to the end of that region, the zoom view jumps and I'm now looking at the second region. Okay. None of the regions on the track have to be highlighted because I've got one track selected, which means all the regions on the track will be shown in the editor based on the position of the playhead, right? Okay. Now, what happens if I want to look at the content of one region with it set like that, one track, right? If I select the blue region, boom, it shows me the blue region. The red region, it shows me the red region based at the zoom that I've set the editor to. Pink region, green region, so we can select any region we want to look at when we're not playing like that do a little tweak select that region say do a little tweak and then when we hit play again it'll start just doing the jumping based on the zoom and based on the position of the playhead right so if i put the playhead if i want to play from bar nine i just double click at bar nine and oh, there's bar nine that region beginning at bar 9, then it jumps, we're looking at the next region, etc. Okay, so it's kind of handy that view. I can select a region, it shows me the content of the region based on the zoom I've set up. Right, but I don't need to have any regions selected. I just hit play and the editor jumps following the playhead and it jumps based on the zoom I've set. Right? But if I select 
and tick selected regions instead of one track. Boom, selected regions. The editor only shows me the selected regions. I select the green region. It still does that thing. I select the green region. It shows me all the green region based on the zoom I've set. Blue region, red region, pink region, right? But with no region selected, we don't see anything. When I hit play, the player still goes along, but it doesn't show any content because none of the regions are highlighted. When it gets to the end of that bar five, it still jumps the zoom level that I've set instead of scrolling because we haven't got scroll and play ticked. So it's still jumping, the editor jumps from one four bar zoom in to the next four bars zoomed in, the next four bars, but doesn't display any content because selected regions is ticked. So now I need to select some regions to display. So that region and hold down shift and that region. All right, hit play. It shows me this region. Player gets to the end. The four bar zooms jumps, but I'm not shown any content because we're going across a region which isn't highlighted. Then we get to the end of that, the zoom, the four bar zoom jumps, and now we're looking at the content of the third region because it is highlighted. And then we get to the end of that four bar region and it jumps to show the next four bars, but there's no content because that region isn't highlighted. Yeah, so that's the other way you can have it. So it only shows content in the editor of highlighted regions. Now, I've, I prefer to have it on set to one track. Right? And the idea of working this way is that you set a nice zoom, you choose a region, you set the zoom nicely in the piano edit, so the zoom is set to show that whole region nicely across the whole editor. And you're listening out now, okay, one track is selected, I don't need to select a region. We're now listening out for, for problem notes in these 16 bars, these four four bar regions. We're listening out for problems. So you set it like that, one track, scrolling plays off, you set the zoom for the editor nicely, and then you start listening. And the playhead, crossing the regions, the, the region updates in the editor. And you listen out for a bum note. Now we're looking at the second region. I'm listening, I'm listening. Now we're looking at the third region. And as the third region plays, I hear a note that's got a problem. So I just detick that playhead. And that region stays in the editor. And now I know this is the region where the problem note is. Now, once I've got that region there in the editor, at this zoom, so it nicely fills, all right? I can either double click up here at bar nine and it will cycle around. I'll hear that region that's in the editor, but all the other music playing with it. All right, and then tweak whichever notes in this region need tweaking. Or, see the little arrow next to the title of the region here in the piano. If I click that, it solos that region and plays it and puts a cycle loop around it. Doesn't matter what my cycle loop is set for the song, it will cycle loop just this region and solo it so I can hear it in solo and tweak any notes that need tweaking. Right. Click that little playhead on the region again there and it stops. And now I'm back to what I was looking at before and it works the same as before. Okay, so that's uh, basically the different ways to get this piano edit to jump and move across regions um, either one track in which case you don't need to highlight any region or selected regions it will only show the selected regions but regardless of which of these you have ticked when you click once you've set the zoom of the piano edit when you select a region it updates and shows the content of that region nicely at the same zoom as whatever you've got it set Okay, so I hope that's useful and I'll see you for the next little tip.